Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I've been super busy with multiple projects. But here we are, and this time we visit Los Angeles. This visit is from early last year, when the mask mandate was still around. We started our journey from Minneapolis St. Paul Airport, we flew Spirit Airlines to Los Angeles. On the first day in LA, we decided to visit Universal Studios Hollywood. The park had recently opened back up after being shut for COVID, and the crowds had slowly started to build. If I recall correctly, the most we had to wait in line for a ride was close to an hour. It wasn't too bad, because I've been to Universal Studios Hollywood before and I've waited close to 90 minutes in line. We spent the entire day at Universal Studios Hollywood, enjoyed all the rides and the studio tour. They had switched to electric tour buses this time, which was pretty neat. We did the following rides on our day at Universal Studios Hollywood. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, Transformers 3D, Revenge of the Mummy, Jurassic World, Silly Swirly, Kung Fu Panda, Flight of the Hippogriff, Minion Mayhem. Along with that, we also did the studio tour and watched the show Waterworld. The Simpsons ride, however, was closed for servicing when we were visiting. The first stop on day 2 in LA was California Science Center. In the parking lot, I tried to lift a truck and succeeded, thanks to the power of leverage. Then we spent some time in the California Science Center before making our way to see the decommissioned Space Shuttle Endeavour. The sheer presence and magnitude of this giant craft that has been to the space multiple times is just awe-inspiring. The second stop on day 2 of our trip in LA was Battleship USS Iowa, which is also a museum. We took a self-guided tour of this behemoth, which had served in World War II. This battleship was first commissioned in 1942, and since then it has been decommissioned and recommissioned multiple times before its final decommission in 1990. And then eventually it was converted into a museum and opened for the public in 2011. The next stop on our trip was Aquarium of the Pacific. We spent a good amount of time looking at various fishes and admiring all the different forms of sea life. As we were walking through the aquarium, I got an email saying that our flight back to Minneapolis by Sun Country Airlines was cancelled. They didn't offer an alternate flight back home, which left me scrambling to book a flight and make hotel arrangements. All the flights departing the day after were already booked, which meant that we had to spend an additional two nights at a hotel close to the airport. I made sure they had a free shuttle service because our car rental also ended on the third day of our trip. This kind of shows that not everything goes to plan, but you always have to be prepared. The final stop on day 2 of our trip was the dolphin and whale watching cruise. We got to see a bunch of dolphins and a few whales on the cruise, which is pretty nice. On our third day of our LA trip, we went to Hollywood Boulevard. From there, we went on a celebrity's home tour. Then, we took a tour of the Dolby Theatre, where the Academy Awards, which are more commonly known as the Oscars, are held. We also visited Madame Tussauds, which is also on Hollywood Boulevard. We spent quite some time enjoying all the different wax sculptures at Madame Tussauds. We then made our way to the Hollywood Museum. It has a huge collection of memorabilia from the history of American motion pictures and television. And then we took a narrated big bus tour of the city and ended the day by watching a movie in IMAX at the TCL Chinese Theatre. It was supposed to be a 3-day trip, but it got a little bit expensive 
a little too fast because of the flight cancellation. We still had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.